What does it say about me that I went to Walgreens and bought specifically a black lipstick, which I probably will never wear just to film this video? Hello, booktube. It's Thea. I am here to film my October TBR. Everything on my TBR, except for my Spookathon TBR, which will be a separate video closer to Spookathon, is books that I own, and they're all kind of spooky books, whether they're thriller or horror or kind of mystery, but I really kind of wanted to try not to buy anything new, so I'm just going to, I just kind of pulled things off of my shelf that would fit kind of in a spooky theme, so let's dive right in and show you guys what I plan on reading. The first book on my TBR is Good As Gone by Amy Gentry. This follows our main character, Julie, who's kidnapped from her own bed when she was 13 while her mother, Anna, slept just downstairs. Unaware that her daughter was being ripped away from her for eight years, she has lived with the guilt and the void in her family, hoping against hope that Julie is still alive, but realizing how unlikely that is. And then one night, a doorbell rings. A young woman who appears to be Julie is finally home. Anna and the rest of the family are thrilled, but as Anna hears Julie's story, that happiness turns again to guilt and sadness over what has happened. As Anna tries to reconnect with Julie, she begins to see holes in her story. Things just don't add up. She hates to think it, but is her daughter lying to her? Um, this sounds like this is going to be the perfect kind of fall spooky read. It it is recommended for fans of Girl on the Train and Gone Girl, um, and both of those are pretty staple thriller mystery novels. So I'm really excited to dive into this. The next thing on my TBR is Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. Um, this was on my TBR for last year and I didn't really get around to it, so I'm really excited to dive into this this year. And it says here, are you happy with your life? Those are the last words Jason hears before the mass abductor knocks him unconscious. Before he awakens to find himself strapped to a gurney surrounded by strangers in hazmat suits. Before a man Jason never met smiles down at him and says, welcome back my friend. In this world he's woken up to, Jason's life is not the one he knows. His wife is not his wife, his son was never born, and Jason is not an ordinary college professor, but a celebrated genius who has achieved something remarkable. Something is impossible. Is it this life or the others that's the dream? And even if the home he remembers is real, how can Jason possibly make it back to the family he knows and loves? The answers lie in a journey more wondrous and horrifying than anything he could have ever imagined. One that will force him to confront the darkest parts of himself even as he battles a terrifying, seemingly unbeatable foe. This sounds like it's going to be kind of really spooky and not so much scary, but more thrillery, and so I'm really excited to dive into this. The Truth Beneath the Lies by Amanda Siri. This is the next book on my TBR. This is another kind of thriller mystery. This came in my page habit box last year and I just never got around to reading it. And I've been kind of waiting around for like the fall and October, kind of um, the spooky time to kind of go ahead and read this. And it says here, flight. All Kayla wants to do is run. Run from the government housing complex she calls home. Run from her unstable mother. Run from a desperate job at No Limit Foods. Run to a better, cleaner, safer life. Every day is one step closer to leaving. Fight. All Betsy wants to do is survive. Survive the burner phone hidden under her bed. Survive her new rules. Survive a new class with a new school. Survive a new school with new classmates. Survive being watched. Every minute grants her another moment of life. But when fate brings Kayla and Betsy together, only one girl will live. This sounds like it's going to be a really fun thriller, and I'm really excited to read this as well. The next book is actually an arc that I won as a Goodreads giveaway. I don't know if this is like spooky, but it feels kind of like a fall theme just by reading it, and that is Mel Moth by Sarah Perry. Sarah Perry is the author of The Essex Serpent, and um, this arc is just absolutely beautiful. I love that it's got like this, these French flaps and it's got deckled edges. Um, and this just sounds kind of really kind of spooky and this just sounds like the perfect kind of more fall read. And it says, it has been years since Helen left England. In Prague, working as a translator, she has found a home of sorts, or at least refuge. That changes when her friend Carol discovers a mysterious letter in the library, a strained confession, and a curious warning that speaks of Melmoth the Witness, a grim legend found in obscure fairy tales and antique village lore. 
As such superstitions has it, Melmoth travels through the ages, dooming those she persuades to join her to the damnation of timeless solitude. To Helen, it all seems the stuff of unenlightened fantasy. But unaware as she wanders the cobblestone streets, Helen is being watched, and then Carol disappears. This sounds like it's just going to be the perfect like read at night to just curl up with a candle and a blanket and read this and this actually comes out the 18th so i definitely want to go ahead and read this before it comes out and uh give a review for you guys neverwhere by neil gaiman this is something that has been on my tbr forever i love neil gaiman and i always try to incorporate neil gaiman around this time of year just because he has a lot of like dark atmospheric fantasy books and i'm really excited to dive into this if you don't know what it's about i'll just read it for you right now Richard is a young man with a good heart and an ordinary life, which is changed forever when he stops to help a girl he finds bleeding on a London sidewalk. His small act of kindness propels him into a world he never dreamed existed. There are people who fall through the cracks, and Richard has become one of them, and he must learn to survive in this city of shadows and darkness, monsters and saints, murders, murderers and angels, if he is ever to return to the London that he knows. A fantastic story that is both the stuff of dreams and nightmares. I just love Neil Gaiman. I love his writing style and just all of his books are just super dark, like atmospheric books and I'm really excited to dive into this. I know this is a lot of people's favorite Neil Gaiman novel and it's something that I've never read so I'm really excited to dive into this. And the next two books on my TBR are both Stephen King novels. I am really anxious going into these, but also very really excited because I've never read Stephen King and so I'm really excited to try him out. But I also know that he's an author that people either love or people hate, so I don't really know where I'm going to fall into this, um, but I'm really excited to dive into these. These were the two, these were just happened to be the two that we already own. I just pulled them right off my shelves. Um, there wasn't really any like particular reason why I chose these two. These are just the two that we own. And the first one is Christine. I actually have seen the adaptation long time ago um but i don't really remember it so i'm really excited to dive into this and then watch the adaptation in october and then the second book is gerald's game and i have not seen the adaptation for this yet so i'm really excited to dive into this and watch the adaptation so two stephen king novels that i'm going to try to go ahead and read in october and the last two books are just extra books depending on kind of how my reading is going, if I'm like doing really well and I finish all of these or I'm not really feeling these, I can pick these two up. And these don't have dust jackets just because they're an old collector's kit of Borders back when Borders was still a thing. Um, but they are The Phantom of the Opera and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. I have read Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde in the past and I just really enjoy the story and this would be fun to just pick up and read again this year depending on how my mood is and it's not super long so this is something that I can go ahead and pick up and enjoy as well. And the next one and Phantom of the Opera, I've actually seen I think all of the movie adaptations but I've never actually read the book all the way through and I know the book is very different from the adaptations but I feel like this would be a really fun to read kind of just because it does have a spooky fall kind of feel as well so I'm really excited to go ahead and um, hopefully get around to these as well. So here is my October TBR. I'm really excited to dive into these dark atmospheric and thriller books. Are you guys reading in October? Do you prefer thriller mysteries or do you just like reading like dark atmospheric books? If you've read any of these, I'd love any thoughts, comments, and opinions. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the little bell to get notified of when I post new videos. Happy reading, happy October, happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.